What's up guys, Justin here with the CGessentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out an awesome new add-on for creating procedural crowds in Blender. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so procedural crowds is a new add-on from Diffuse Studio. And this is a tool that's basically designed to help you create procedural crowds that do different things. I really like the way that they've set this one up. It's super easy to use and it's super fast to add groups of people to your models. And so currently this tool comes with more than 20 different models um, with some different variations and other things like that. So it comes with model types or people models that you can use in order to generate these crowds. There's multiple different kinds of crowds that you can create from like standing blocks of people to people standing in a circle, um, crowds that follow along a curve so you can actually animate them walking along a curve as well as some really cool tools in here for um, doing things like random walking that actually uses collisions and filling in things like stadiums with seated models. So in addition, these character models also come with different animations. So there's like cheering animations, walk animations, other things like that. Um, you can also add individual human models out of this library as well. So two other things that are worth noting from their procedural crowds tutorial on their page is in the comments, they've noted that they're planning on releasing packs with different 3D models with different themes, as well as um, it sounds like there's some tutorials coming on how to add your own custom models to procedural crowds. So as soon as we get some of that, I'll make another follow up video on that because I'd be really interested to see um, how you can add your own custom models. To this tool. But for now, let's jump over into Blender and take a look at what this can do. So um, the way this works is when you first install it, you want to make sure that you uh, go into your preferences. So this comes with two files. It comes with the add-on file as well as an assets file. And you want to make sure that you've installed and enabled the procedural crowds add-on. In addition, that assets folder that it comes with, you want to make sure that you unzip it and then you select those assets using this option right here. That's going to take the add-on and it's going to allow it to actually like link to that folder and bring the assets in that we're looking for. But now let's go ahead and let's take this and let's add a crowd. So I'm gonna move my Bonnie model over here a little bit. And so what I wanna do is I wanna add a crowd. So you can do that by tapping the N key on your keyboard to pop out this window, clicking on procedural crowds. And so notice how right now, if you click on this, you get options for the different kinds of crowds that you can create. So the first kind of crowd is an audience. And so if I click on the add crowd button, what that's gonna do is that's going to add a number of different models in here that are standing as part of an audience. And notice how if I was to come down here and click on the play button, that these actually have kind of an idle standing animation associated with them. So they're not just static models, they also have this animation associated with them. But if you click into your crowd settings, you can do a number of different things in here. So for example, you can select the width and thickness of the number of people standing in this crowd like this. And I don't know that there's necessarily a limitation on how many people models you can put in here, um, but you can use this to add a bunch of people really quickly. Um, note that there are also options in here to select or adjust um, how much space is in the crowd, right? So if you turn the personal space way down, um, then uh, notice how everybody's gonna be packed together. You can also use this to kind of like remove some people as well. Um, you can also adjust the probability of where people are going to be placed in here. So you can also take crowds and you can give them a floor. So if I place this floor right here, notice how this is going to place those crowds along this surface right here. So um, in addition to being able to do things like a floor, you also have the ability to take an object and set it as the point of interest. And so when you set it as a point of interest, what's gonna happen is that crowd is going to turn to follow that object. So you can animate crowds that kind of like watch things move along, other things like that. So um, pretty slick system right here. And then I don't think I meant, mentioned it, but you can also toggle an idle or a cheering animation. So if you toggle that cheering animation, these people are going to cheer like they're at a concert or something like that. So you can use this to animate that crowd doing that as well. So the circle is gonna do exactly what it sounds like. It's gonna add a group of people standing in a circle looking at a central point. And you can adjust things like the radius, you can adjust the thickness of the circle, and then you can set how far along the circle these people are going to be using the trim circle function. So if 
For example, if you wanted all of these people standing here looking at someone talking or um, something like that, you can set them around a point um, and you can use this in order to set if they're like fully around the circle or partially, whatever you want. And then these other options are pretty much the same. You can set the probability, the seed, other things like that. Okay, and so this next option is gonna do exactly what it sounds like. It allows you to create a crowd that follows along a curve. So say I had a Bezier curve like this one, but then if I select it, click on add crowd, what that's gonna do is that's gonna add a crowd that follows along this curve. Notice how if you click on the play button right here, these people models are actually going to walk along this curve. And you can set things like the speed that the people are walking, like this. You can also toggle if they're walking or running just by switching the different animations in here. So um, you can do that as well as setting things like the direction that the people are walking or running. So you can use this in order to quickly animate people walking down streets or other things like that. So you can add some randomization to the speed, which is interesting because some of the people models are going to walk faster than others. So the march function is basically going to be a lot like the follow curve, but it's gonna give you more control over the crowd that's created, right? So notice how in this case I selected a curve, but these people are all kind of in lines, right? They're not random. So you can use this to animate people marching like this, and then you can adjust things like their speed again, but notice how this gives you the ability to add like rows and columns of people. And then if you do decide that you wanna add some randomization in here, notice how there's kind of some randomization options like this that you can use in order to randomize where people are. But this one basically gives you more control over the people that are created along your path. All right, so the random walk system is gonna let you create a crowd of humans that it starts off looking like this and it's kind of funny, um, but when you hit play, what it's gonna do is it's gonna use the Boyd system in order to generate this crowd. And what's gonna happen is this crowd is going to walk or follow after a goal that you set. So notice how I can take this goal and I can set it up so that these people actually follow along with it like this. Now you can come into the crowd and adjust things like the speed that people are walking, um, other things like that. So if I take this goal and move it, notice how those people are still going to follow along with it. So you can also um, not only do that, but you can also set up collisions. And then let's say that you wanted them to walk like through objects or something like that, or have actual collisions. You can select the object, you can select the people and click on set collision. And what that's gonna do is now they're gonna walk towards the goal, but Notice how if they run into a wall, they're actually going to turn and go elsewhere. So notice how you can set this up where that crowd is actually going to walk through gaps and actually collide with things inside your model. So this last one is super interesting to me. Um, it's the stadium. And what the stadium does is it allows you to take a surface, right? So this is just a cube that I've kind of scaled down at the bottom and up at the top. But if I click on add crowd, that's actually gonna come in here and that's gonna add a crowd along that surface. And one of the crazy things about this is if I click on play, these people are animated, right? So they're actually like cheering. Um, they're looking at the middle of this model right here. So if you wanna animate a crowd in the background of something, you can do that using this tool. And so you can use this to adjust things like the probability of people being in the crowd, right? So if you don't want this to be like 100% full or something like that, you can adjust this. You can also adjust the scale of the people a little bit so everything doesn't look 100% uniform. All right, and then finally, you've also got the ability to add individual humans in here. And they've got a collection of high poly and low poly, both men and women. So let's say I wanted to add a high poly model in here. I can select from the collection that they have. So we'll go with this one right here. Click on add human. That's actually going to add that person model in here. And so you can add this character. And then if I click on the armature, notice how we can add um, some of the animations. So let's say we wanted one of the idle animations. You can click on add animation. I'm just gonna say use existing, but then you can click down here and you can select that animation right here. So notice how you're getting that idle animation for this model in here. And you can add multiple different models. So for example, let's say I wanted to add uh, one of the women models, the high poly. And so we'll just go with this one. So we're gonna click on add human. And um, when you move these, by the way, you're gonna wanna make sure that you select both the person and the armature to move them both out of the way. But now we've got this human model in here like this, where you can click on that armature and do the same thing, right? So let's say we wanted to add that cheering animation. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll use the existing, but then I'm gonna click in here and select the cheering zero one. 
and it's gonna apply this cheering animation to this model. So you can use this to uh, basically add the individual models in here and animate them if you decide that you wanna do that in addition to the crowds. All right, so personally, I think this is a great tool for adding groups of people into your models. I'm super excited to see what that workflow is gonna be for adding those custom models in here as well. But this tool set is really good, at least in my opinion, for adding those different groups. Leave a comment down below, let me know what you think, and I will link to the add-on on this page. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.